All right, welcome back to the next installment of the Foundations of Craftsman Kit Building. So we have our four walls. They're all painted. They're all done, ready to go. The next step um, is we are we already did this, but if you didn't do this yet, um, you can. This is the time to do it now. So in the beginning, we did sand these um, to make sure they fit squarely. You could just use a piece of 220 grit sandpaper. Well, and make sure they're flat. But any areas that you need to shore up, make sure they're nice and flat. You can just sand these quickly. I already did that to make sure that they they, they um, fit together nicely. This is a pretty simple structure. We're just going to glue all four corners together. And um, you can use a variety of different glues for this. Some people use, um, there's a bunch of glues to use. I just use Aileen's Tacky Glue because I think it bonds quickly and it's the least runny of the different glues. So I'm gonna just quickly put a little bead on the two walls here. And I'm putting it on these two walls particular, in particular because these two walls are the walls with the brick texture on the outside corner. And we're just gonna fit these two together real quick. shore them up and some people use squares to make sure the walls are square I just use the lines on my cutting mat and it might be controversial but hey that's how we do all right I line up the four walls again you can hum like I just did to yourself Make sure that these are lining up with the lines on my cutting mat. And I'm also making sure they're lining up vertically. Okay. We're just going to pop these four together. I also like to use the aliens because I think it sets a little bit quicker than like a white or a wood glue. All right. There we go. That is good enough for my liking. Okay. Now, I'm gonna let this set and dry and we'll come back then when this is already set. Um, I might use some clamps. I have these plastic clamps. I got them, uh, I think these are from Micromark. I believe they're from Micromark. In fact, I'm just gonna throw those on now. Pop these suckers on and tighten them. So we're going to let this set and dry. <clears throat> and there will be a little bit of... I'm just going to square them up here as I let these clamps set in. There will be little gaps um, on the corners. So that's okay. That's why I have this drywall mud. And on the next step, I'm going to show you how I use this drywall mud to mask the corners up. Um, Doug Fiscali gave us a little bit of a how-to tip on one of our podcasts on how to cover those up with a little bit of drywall mud in the corners. And then you just paint it with the brick paint you're already using. So the next video after this is dry, we're going to use some drywall mud that I have here. And I'm going to show you how I mask the corners where the walls don't meet just perfectly. Um, there's a little bit of a gap. That way we cover it and it makes it look like it's a seamless brick the whole way around. And don't mind this. I actually ran out of this paint and I had to finish the other one, the other top parts of the wall with a different color paint. But um, from the side, it's not too noticeable. I'll use some chalk and I'll mask that up. But it's okay to improvise every now and then, I guess. But yeah, so I'm just going to leave this sit here and uh, let this dry and again when we come back we'll be doing the masking of the corners make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification because we are going to be having more videos coming up there was a lull we know but here we go